Hey there, this is Rich Quick, and this is a new show that we're premiering today, Two Things Can Be True. Our first episode will be about Miles Morales PS4. Um, it was a game that came out in 2020, and my take is that spinoff game that I've played, and it's also the worst spinoff game that I've played. Two things can be true on this channel. All opinions matter, but two things can always be true. So, this is a spinoff of the PS4 game, Spider-Man. It came out just a year before. Miles Morales also appeared in the Spider-Man game. Um, just as a little side character. Um, just off the top. This is the best Spider-Man game. Uh, PS4 is the best Spider-Man game that was made to date to me. And this is the best spin-off game that has been made to date to me. But it's, it's also the worst spin-off game, and we'll get into that. All right. So these things that I'm going to mention first are improvements off of the PS4 game that they have in Miles Morales' game. Let's get into the good, and then we'll get into the bad. First thing, good music. If you watch Intro Into the Spider-Verse, a movie came out a couple years before, the soundtrack was the best part of that movie. It gives you a certain flavor and background of the character. Miles Morales, just to give you a short origin story, is a multicultural Spider-Man that debuted, I believe, 11 years ago. Uh, it's actually August 11th. Comic book issue, Ultimate Fallout issue 4, creator Brian Michael Bendis and Sour Pacelli. Um, most comic book characters that you watch today have 40, 50, 60, in Batman's case, 70 years of lore. This is probably the first character that has only 10 years of lore. This is a brand new character. I also want to mention, I have my guy in the chair, Kyle P. He's doing editing and everything. Say what's up, Kyle. You know what's going on? <laughs> Here we go. I just want, to, want you to chime in real quick. Right. So what do you think about this? He's, he's a multicultural between he's black and Latina. <laughs> right. And He's already had a cartoon movie in his own game in only 11 years of being in a comic book. Don't you think that's, like, amazing? Yeah, I haven't heard any comic book characters. That's pretty impressive, right? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And to be truthful, I, I'm a big Peter Parker fan. Spider-Man is my <laughs> top five character. I like Miles, Morel Miles Morales better. Uh, he has some significant power upgrades over the regular Spider-Man. He can literally go invisible. He also has something called uh, Spider Venom or Venom Shock. Where he can literally shock his opponents into you know, unconsciousness. He can also absorb uh, electricity. Um... So, focusing on the game, the game had way better cutscenes than PS4. It was more intense. It was uh, a little bit more visceral. His web sling was a lot different from the PS4 version. It was more out of control, and you can tell he was just becoming Spider-Man. Um, also, the, the person that voiced this character was Najee Jeter. It's also, this game was also directed by Ryan Smith. Um, New York was the background for the game. There also, as a side note, there was no Chrysler building as they didn't get the rights from the PS, um, from Asomniac to have the Chrysler building in the game. Uh, the motion capture for the game took about a year and a half. There's also uh, a Chadwick Boseman tribute 
He recently passed away last year. Wakanda Forever. Uh, the street is called. They took out the tree, the the street, Forty Second Street, and named it uh, Chadwick Chadwick Street, I think. Um. So, that's all the goods I have. I also found it a funner experience playing this game than the PS4 version. Uh, I, and I really think that's due to the music and the cutscenes. Uh, I'm really starting to get into musical scores and movies and music. And I think it sets a tone for the character. And uh, my best example right now would be the Batman that just came out. The score, I've never paid attention more to a music in a movie than the Batman. It literally made most of the movie just a lot more enjoyable. So let's get into some of the negatives. Kyle, what do you think so far about what I described about the game? About the who? <clears throat> about the game. Sound interesting? Or well, unfortunately. <laughs> My on on my end, we're limited to so like those type of games, you know. So right, I mean that's perfect. <laughs> that's perfect. No, because that's a perfect. I want to say the worst thing about this game, and it's all time worst. It's number one. That's why I said it's the best spinoff game. And it's also the worst. This game was priced at forty nine dollars. For an eight to ten hour campaign, I beat this game in two days. Fifty dollars, bro. <laughs> that's not good. That that's a big disservice. This could have been a DLC. I would have paid twenty dollars for it or thirty dollars, but to buy an entirely new game for that short of a game is is criminal to me. Mm. And that's the worst thing about this game. Um, it also has limited weapons. Fight animations are repetitive. The swinging is also not as smooth. There's boring side missions. And this, it really should... The story was kind of bad. Mm. It had good cutscenes, but the story was really boring. It was nothing It was nothing like the PS4 version. Excuse me. PS4 version. Spoilers, Aunt May dies in the PS4 version. You feel things in that story. And this story just seemed very contained. It could have been DLC. And that's the main point of this YouTube video. Don't I would not buy this game unless I went to, I went to GameStop and it was on sale for $18.99. It's totally worth 20 bucks. Especially for the just to experience a new comic book character, um, I really, really, really like this character of Miles Morales. He's um, he's much younger than Peter Parker. Peter Parker normally is in college or graduating high school. He's more in the four, uh, 14, 15 age. Um, in the comic books and and even in the game when we first meet him in the PS4 game. Um, I do hope that the success of Into the Spider-Verse, which Miles Morales starred in, that, that he will get his own live action movie. Um, I think the character is well deserving. It's, it's well written. He even has his own game right now. So I think that should lead into a live action. We have several actors that wants to take on that role. A famous actor that starred in uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. He's a rapper, uh, Childish Gambino. He wanted to be... I, I forgot his real name, Carl. You know his real name? He's a talented guy. Childish Gambino. But he was in Community. His name escapes me, but he wanted to play Miles Morales in the movie uh, No Way Home. He actually plays his uncle, and his uncle is kind of like his uncle Ben in an origin story. He's a he's a character that dies, and Miles Morales, uh, Ben Parker dies. So that's his. That's how he gets his morality. Also in the comic books, Peter Parker dies. Spoilers, sorry. 
and Miles Morales takes over as the ultimate Spider-Man. The, I, I really think this is the only character in DC and in Marvel that has taken off so quickly. It took Superman years, Batman years, Wonder Woman 30, 40, 50 years. This character has done it in less than 12 years. The only other character that I can think of is Miss Marvel, Kamala Khan, when she has her own Disney Plus show coming out, uh, I believe in, by the end of this year, she's taking off. She's one of my favorite characters, too. I love the diversity in these new comic books. Um, it's just like when Black Panther came out and you've seen kids dressed up as Black Panther. It's very important to see yourself expressed on the big screen. Really, really, really appreciate the work that they've done with Miles Morales so far. Um, I'm going to wrap this up, but I do want to hear Kyle's thoughts on everything I just said. Wow. <laughs> That's really big. So, I mean, hopefully a lot of people watch this or listen to it because then, you know, they can gravitate and um, get into the comments section because it does seem like, you know, Hearing all this, you know, I grew up with Peter Parker and everything like that when it comes to Spider-Man. And then, like, you know, of course, Miles Morales and all that stuff. I mean, it's good. I mean, it's awesome. Right. Okay. But, you know, it, 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 it's, it's just hard for me to turn Peter off. You know what I mean? But, hey. I'm telling you, bro. I was just thinking, <laughs> man, like, it's no way I'm going to like this guy better than Peter Parker. But, it, all you gotta do, you you haven't watched Into the Spider Verse yet either, have you? Yeah, I did. I, me and my daughter, we went to see that. Um, we went to see it when it was out in the movies. So it was cool. I mean, I, I mean, like, it was cool. I mean, like definitely, like it was worth going out to see. That's for sure. <clears throat> so we enjoyed ourselves. Yeah, wait till uh, part two comes out. That's what I was about to say. I mean, like you know, you can tell they was leading up to that. My man Kingpin, he just trashed um Peter Parker. I said, damn. <laughs> right. He made it seem like I said, oh, this is uh, definitely an alternate universe because Kingpin, he can, you know, he, he couldn't do that grab him like that. that was invisible on him, bro. <laughs> yeah, it was, that was interesting. I mean, I didn't, I didn't know he shot up there like that because, I mean, like, you know, I, like I said, I, we seen it when it first came out and that was it. Like, we didn't even think nothing else about it, you know. So I guess right. he's been increasing in popularity. So to speak. I mean, dude, that's amazing. He he debuted in 2011, and he has his own movie. You can't name one comic book character, white, black, whatever. I mean, well, you can name black one now, but I just like the fact that there's no comic book character that has caught. The, the only closest person is Deadpool. And Deadpool came out in I think the 80s. Yeah, he been out. There's no other. Oh, there's no other comparison to it. <laughs> like I. I when I first heard of Miles Morales, I thought it was around, you know, 30, 40 years. I didn't know it, it literally just came out. You, you just, you're not going to, you're never going to find something that takes off this, this fast. And people love it. I mean, you saw the turnout. I think, I mean, it's just with any type of representation, you know, when people see their self on screens and, you know, and represent it well, people will go out and pay. They don't play. Like you saw Black Panther. Black Panther did what a billion dollars? Yeah. Good movie. <laughs> you know, it's um I just think it, it it's it's it doesn't get as much credit as it deserves because again, you can't name a character that has his movies that hasn't been out with fifty years of lore. You know, and he just burst onto the scene. And he's such a likable character, you know, his, you know, Peter Parker was, you know, tormented by the death of Ben. Miles Morales, looked, he looked up to Peter Parker and always wants to do right. So I'm going to wrap this up and I hope you guys go out and check out Miles Morales. Doesn't matter what color you are. I'm sure you'll like him, even if Peter Parker is your favorite Spider-Man, just like he was for me. It has nothing to do with him being Afro-Latino, but I, I like the Miles Morales story. It's more modern. You know, he listens to hip-hop, and that's kind of his 
his uh his thing i mean it seemed like he always picked the perfect music for this guy um but i suggest you go out pick up a comic go watch the movie you can find this on youtube kyle can you tell them the other platforms that you can find this on well if you listen to the podcast then you should be able to pick us up on um everywhere Applecast and all that good stuff. <laughs> Stitcher and yeah, and the likes anchor, you know, shoots it out there like that. Um, like you said, YouTube, you can catch us there, of course. And then Facebook. That's about it. Awesome. Remember guys, no matter what the topic, two things can be true. People don't have to be right and wrong. People need to come together and recognize there's two point of views, and that's the whole point of this channel, to get rid of some of this toxic, toxic comic book environment. Everything is versus each other, so that's why I made this channel. Things can be good, things can be bad. Next episode that we're going to do, Kyle's going to chime in more, is Skyrim. It's the best uh, RPG, also the most bugged RPG. <laughs> Mm. That, ain't that true, Kyle? Mm. That is so true, brother. I can definitely and say we'll, we'll go into, bugs. It's definitely the best. We got some major <laughs> bugs. I've never seen so many bugs in the game before, but it's also <laughs> the best RPG game. I, it, it's so crazy. It's also the best RPG game I played. So we're going to sign out of here. It's your boy Rich Quick, the guy in the chair, Kyle P. Signing off. Peace, y'all. Peace.